In this video, we are gonna we're gonna look at trigonometry. Now, trigonometry is a powerful way to be able to work out different lengths in different triangles and work out the angles of a triangle. And as you'll see, as we progress through, you'll see the different ways that you can use trigonometry. So, for the first triangle that we have here on the left, if I asked you to find this length over here, how would you do that? Well, well done if you remembered Pythagoras. So you would say that x squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared and that would give you 25 on the right hand side and then you would get x by itself by taking the square root and you would end up with 5. But now if I took away one of the sides you would be stuck. And so that's how trigonometry comes in and helps us. We take, we only need to know one of the sides and as long as we are given an angle, then we can use trigonometry to find any other side. And trigonometry was discovered by the Greek mathematicians many, many years ago. And they discovered that in a 90 degree triangle, there are certain ratios that can always be used. And those three ratios that we are eventually going to use, and for, I don't know why they called it this, but they called the one ratio sin. The other ratio they called it cos, and the last one they called it tan. Now, as we go through the next videos, we're going to look and we're going to explore and see what each of these different parts means to try and understand what the Greek mathematicians were or what they had discovered. And I promise you, once you understand it, you'll see how incredibly easy and interesting it actually is. So we'll begin our discussion by looking at sin. So what the Greeks meant when they when they spoke about the sin of a triangle was okay so I'm gonna choose a specific angle in this triangle so let's say I choose this angle theta now if we look at the opposite side so that's gonna be this one over here and I'm gonna call this so let's just give this some letters a B and C so this will be the opposite the opposite of that green angle and then this side over here will be the hypotenuse. Now, when Greek mathematicians were talking to each other, sometimes they needed to know what the ratio was between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. And they decided to call that sin. So sin is the ratio of the opposite of a triangle divided by the hypotenuse of that triangle. So let me show you with a proper example. So let's say we had to look at this first example here, this triangle in blue. And let's say we were standing at angle A. Then the sin of angle A is, so remember when the Greek mathematician said sin, it means the opposite. So that would be the opposite side, which is EF. And the hypotenuse is always the longest side in the triangle, which is always opposite the 90 degrees. That would be GF. Then I'm going to look at this red triangle. Let's say we were standing at B, then the sin of B, so remember, sin is always the opposite, so the opposite of the angle that you are looking at, which is 3, and the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree, and that would be 5. What if we were standing at A in that triangle? Well, then the sin of A would be the opposite of A, which is now 4, and the hypotenuse would still be 5. So if you were a Greek mathematician back in the day, you would tell the other person that the sin of B is 3 over 5, and the sin of A is 4 over 5. Let's move on to this last green triangle. What would the sin of A be? Try pause this at home and try figure it out. Well, the sin of A is the opposite. So the opposite of A is 5, and the hypotenuse is always the one that's opposite the 90 degree, and that's 13. What would the sin of B be? Well, the sin of B would be the opposite, and divided by the hypotenuse, which is 13. So all you need to know is that sin is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. 